I know the difference between a very feminine woman, which is in her femininity, and a woman who's not. And a woman who's in her femininity is is so attractive. I mean, it's like it's like fire. You know, men just naturally flock to it. Some women really, 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 really got it. You know, I mean, he really got it, and it's like a magnet. Just, just like ladies, just like how you like a man in his masculine energy. When a man's very masculine, you like that. You know, you like a man that's masculine who can take care of his business. You know what I'm saying? Protect, provide. Do the things that a man can do. Well, you don't have to worry about nothing. All you got to do is just show up and be a woman. He got everything. Baby, I got it. You go sit down. Baby, I got it. I'm going to take care of you. You just go chill. If you wait here, I'm going to bring the car around. You know, you like, tell me you don't like that. If you tell, tell me you don't like that, I'm going to cut this video off. You know what I'm saying? You know you like it. You know what a man's masking and, and make you feel secure. So we like the same thing. It's your boy, the minister, the reverend, Jay Whitfield Inspires, coming back at you once again with a whole nother video. Appreciate everybody for liking and subscribing to the channel. We on our road to 10,000 subscribers, so keep subscribing, keep liking, keep doing all that good stuff. We appreciate your boy. It's me, Jay Whitfield Inspires, Virgo minister, ordained reverend, all that good stuff. I talk about Virgo men. I talk about men's perspective as it pertains to relationship, life, and love, and spirituality. So if you need to talk to me, hit the link in the description button in the chat below, description below, to talk to me. Yes, so today, today's topic is, I want to give the ladies some tips on how they can deal with men in, in, uh, in dating and relationship and things like that. So today's video is going to be three ways to better improve your relationship with men, ladies. Three ways to better improve your relationship with men. Number one, you got to try a new approach. When you're dealing with your boyfriend, your guy, your fiance, your husband, and things ain't, ain't been going right for a while, things kind of funky. Nine times out of ten, a lot of it is, I'm looking at like some notes, is how you approach him, how you, how you talk to him. A lot of men, I talk to a lot of men in private sessions, they complain about this, and I complain about myself. Women, you're, you're approaching guys too wrong. You're, you're approaching guys wrong, right? You want to talk to him, you got things on your mind, it may be an issue. The issue is not that there's an issue. The issue is how you bring up the issue. For example, let's say, Found a phone number or something like that. I know it's old school. Like, you found a phone number in your pocket, nobody put a phone in their pocket. But hey, let's just say, feel like you found a phone number in his pocket or something, you're watching it so I don't know. And it could be anything. You just blow up on him. What is this? What is that? What is this? What is that? You approach him wrong. You know, rather than saying, hey, I found this, what is it? Let's talk about it. You know, it's, it's approach. Or, you know, you, you have an issue with something he did. He may not have called you back or something like that. He forgot. Whatever the case may be, you upset about it. No problem. Get it, get it fixed. Rather than going to him and saying, baby, you know, you need to call me back. This is like the third time. What's going on? You know, this bothers me. You know, rather than doing that, you might be like, I'm tired of you not calling me back. Da, 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 da. You don't know what happened. You know, now you're barking at his throat. You know, you're not giving him a chance to learn and grow. You know, and things like that. So you're approaching him wrong. Or if y'all want to address some issues that you're having in your relationships, you know, rather than you pointing the finger at him and telling him he wrong, he wrong, he wrong, rather than you should rather let him know that look, this was I'm feeling as a lady, as a woman, you know, um, that I think this needs to be addressed. These are my thoughts. I want to get your thoughts on this. You know, see by you doing it like that, you including him before you point the finger at him. It's a big difference. So try a new approach, lady. I'm telling you, try. A down, bring it, uh, bring the tone down, bring it all down. You know, number two, another way you can uh, have a better relationship, better results in your relationship is using your feminine energy, ladies, ladies, ladies. Um, a lot of ladies have a lot of masculine energy. You know, dealing with men, relationship, men hate that. You know, because it's like. The reason why a lot of these arguments are going on the way they do, because you're challenging him as a man would. You know, I've got an argument with women, and they, they bulk up, they bulk up at me as if they want to fight me like a guy. You know, and, it, and in turn, it triggers something in me, like it, it makes me kind of bulk like, what, like, what, what you doing? You know, now don't get me wrong, we understand things happen and things get heightened and stuff like that in arguments, but. I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy. When women really bulking up and doing all this and that, it's, it's not cute and it doesn't look good. 
you know, it turns men off, to be honest. They, men really don't like that. You know, it's unattractive. And not just in, in arguments and things like that, but just in, in, in life, you know, I, I've seen a lot of them just have a lot of masculine energy trying to do things that the men would do. You know, uh, not let the man be the man. You know, you trying to be the man. You trying to handle all the business. You trying to, you not let him. You, you just got a lot of masculine energy. I see this in a lot of ladies. You know, so ladies, you really need to work on that. Work on your femininity. You know, what I'm saying, look, I'm not a woman. You know, I ain't gonna get on here and try to teach them how to be a feminine because I don't know how to be a feminine because I'm not a woman. But I can't say what I see, what I perceive, what I feel, and what I like. In, in women, femininity, and things like that. You know, I know when I'm getting that energy. I, I know the difference between a very feminine woman, which is in her femininity, and a woman who's not. And a woman who's in her femininity is it's so attractive. I mean, it's like it's like fire. You know, men just naturally flock to it. Some women really, 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 really got it. You know, I mean, he really got it. And it's like a magnet. Just, just like, ladies, just like, how you like a man in his masculine energy. When a man's very masculine, you like that. You know, you like a man that's masculine who can take care of his business. You know what I'm saying? Protect, provide. Do the things that a man can do. Well, you don't have to worry about nothing. All you got to do is just show up and be a woman. He got everything. Baby, I got it. You go sit down. Baby, I got it. I'm going to take care of you. You just go chill. Baby, you wait here. I'm going to bring the car around. You know, you like. Tell me you don't like that. If you tell, tell me you don't like that, I'm cutting this video off. You know what I'm saying? You know you like it. You know what a man's masculine and, and make you feel secure. So we like the same thing. So you, know, you don't want a man that's it's our family. Like, Maybe I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you should do it. Maybe you should bring the car around. You don't want that. You can like, right? You don't want you, you want a man who's gonna step out in front. Of, like, oh, all right, baby, let's go. We can walk now. You know, you know you like that. You know, so be feminine. I mean, getting that. I go on and on about femininity, but ladies, sometimes you gotta pull it back. Work on your femininity, man. Pull it back. And men have to work on their masculinity too. You know. You know, I'm, I'm still working, probably have working my masculine every day. You know, it's just be, masculine is not beating your chest. It's just, you know. The next thing is, ladies, the next tip is uh, you have to let him lead. And you have to listen. Let him lead and listen. It's going, and this, this is going from the masculine thing. A lot of women, you know, they, they, they become accustomed to being independent and things like that. And, you know, have to do everything for themselves. And so when a man comes around, ain't nothing he can do for them. They like they don't need him for nothing, you know. And so a man can't naturally do what he need to do, even if he, you know, super rich guy, he, he still can't be the man he need to be for you because you got everything, you know. I know when women like y'all, I can buy my this, I can buy my that, I can go here by myself, I can go there by myself. I'm like, well, well then go ahead in. You know what I'm saying? Shut up and appreciate that I'm here. That's what we be feeling like, yo. You know, I know you can do it. Men don't, men don't care if you can do that or not. Because most women can anyway. You know what I'm saying? Can anyway. You know, so men don't care about that. You need, either you, you might can buy yourself a car, two houses, and him. They don't care about that. Look, just sit back and let them do the thing. You let him lead the decisions. You don't have to, you know, both out in front of him. If you don't like the decision he made, just talk about it. Don't beat him up for it. Just let that man lead. Allow him to lead as he sees fit. You know, and grow into it. Ladies, you got to back off of that masculine energy and let the man lead and listen. You know, listen to him, talk to him. You know, you got to try all these things. I'm telling you, you try all these things, it'll give it'll yield you better results in your relationships because these are the things that men like and value in women. We need that. I'm telling a woman that really listens and hears you and feels you, you know, you can go some places with her. You can make you can make that happen because she wants, because it's a man's nature to lead. You know, and, and be that man. And, and of course, some men got to work on it um, more than others. We know that. You know, but you're dealing with a man, whatever, whatever y'all situation is, talk about it. Talk about it, but let him lead. You know, and you can encourage him. You know, you don't have to baby him, but you can encourage him to be in your family. I'm telling you, it works. It works. And men sense that men have instinct, just like women have uh, intuition. Men have instinct. We know that women have that negative energy. We don't like that sometimes. You know, that independent energy, a man can't do nothing for me. I'm not going to be submissive. I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be that. Da, da, da. Men don't like that. You know, just be feminine, be lovely, be sweet. I'm, this, this is what men like. Men like sweet women, lovely women, dainty women. You know, feminine women, I said I already is. I did. Dainty women. You know, women who allow men to be a man, you know, and not trying to be a man. 
I'm telling you, but later if you try to and try a new approach with him, you know, if you a lot of times he don't he may not talk to you because every time you talk to you, you yapping at him. You know. But talk to him, don't talk at him. You know. If you disagree, that's fine. Well, you know, y'all got an issue, that's fine. Just take my head. I'm telling you, if you match his masculine energy with feminine energy, nine out of ten, nine times out of ten, you're gonna win. Because feminine energy is just as powerful as mas as masculine energy. It's just different. You know, that's his man. Don't be masculine. You don't have to buck up, bulk up at him. All you gotta do is like, you know, baby. Okay. Well, think about it like this. Oh, the thing scared me. <laughs> think about it like this. Or oh, this, this is how I feel about that. What you think about that? You know, well, as a lady, this is how I feel. You know, how do you feel as a man? How do you? You know, what I'm saying, I'm telling you. That's how you navigate that thing. Be calm. You don't have to. You don't have to do all this in there. Be calm. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna win. So you know what I say. Appreciate y'all for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, we, we almost there. We getting there. We pushing in our private session. Hit the link in the chat. Holla.